Environmental, social, and governance, ESG, investing, remains controversial, with some saying investors are demanding corporations pay more attention to broader social issues. Others saying corporations should stick solely to earning profits for their shareholders. Joining us to discuss is Vivek Ramaswamy. He's the executive chairman of Strive Asset Management. Arnie Nowak is the head of Systemic Investment Solutions for the Americas at DWS. He runs several ESG funds. Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you for joining us. You've been very vocal claiming ESG is an example of woke capitalism. Your Strive U.S. Energy ETF tracks an index of energy stocks and attempts to use proxy voting to influence energy companies. What kind of engagement have you had with companies your fund owns, like Exxon and Chevron? I know you own them. And how have they received your message? Sure. So in the energy companies, and the, the energy fund is drill, D-R-L-L, the message is really simple. Focus on drilling, fracking, doing whatever allows you to be most successful without regard to political or social agendas. I sent a public letter to the shareholder letter to the board of directors of Chevron. They responded afterwards. I had dinner with executives of their company at request of their CEO. I met with their CFO over dinner, and we had a, a healthy exchange. And at the end of the day, I think I'm, I'm getting a little bit tired of both sides of this debate where, you know, for a long time I've said that ESG reflects the politicization of the boardroom, where the other side says, no, 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 this is about long-run financial value. I think it's time we move that debate forward and actually debate the specific proposals that are on offer. And in the case of Chevron, the proposal that I was most focused on in my shareholder letter was the scope three emissions cap proposal in 2021 that BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard and other ESG-promoting asset managers voted in favor of. We at Strive would have sure. voted against and will be against per the letter that I wrote. I think we should have the debate not about whether this is the right thing for society. Leave politics to the politicians, I say. But in the boardroom, say in the companies of boardrooms of companies like Chevron or Exxon, we have to debate whether this is in the best interests of the company's owners, full stop. And I hope that brings a healthy debate back to the boardrooms and back to capital markets, which is our goal at Strive. You know, Mr. Nowak, ESG is getting attacked from the left and the right. I find this very amusing. There's an article in the Sunday New York Times yesterday that said that ESG was a sham because it made companies look more socially responsible than they really are. And what we need, the article said, is more stringent guidelines for what constitutes ESG, essentially more ESG. You know, you run several ESG funds. Uh, what criteria do you use? Is ESG a sham, like the New York Times article says? Oh, thank you, Bob. I, I certainly don't agree that it's a sham. Uh, sham is a very strong word. All we're doing is we're taking publicly available data and incorporating those data in a thoughtful way in our investment process. There's nothing shammy about it. It's, it's very much designed to be good, good investment philosophy.